Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. I'm Brink and you're listening to The Voice of Insanity, bringing you an opinion about a game. Today we're going to be talking about Fuego. This is a game released by Radio Static just a couple of days ago on November 16th. And uh, we're going to be going over all of the details that this game has to offer. If you're only interested in the summary and my opinion of the game, go ahead and click the link in the top right corner. It'll take you directly to that portion of the video. Otherwise, stick around. We're going to go through everything in this game. Well, right off the bat, I can say that this game has an awesome atmosphere. There's a mariachi band playing in the background, you've got the guitars, the trumpet, it's a pleasant feel. You've got a really good art style portraying creatures as banditos. This is a Mexican standoff between all manner of tortoises and lizards and crows and coyotes and whatever else you want to throw in there. Uh, the gameplay is essentially turn-based strategy, but it's kind of a fast-paced click fest depending on which game mode you go into there are three of them there is a puzzle mode a versus ai and a multiplayer mode unfortunately i was not able to play the multiplayer because i didn't have anyone to play with and there wasn't anyone online when i was doing this but i was able to play the versus ai and it's essentially the same thing you start on a randomly generated map you've got buildings banks and uh, sometimes a chicken here and there, and you're gonna be placing a gunman your opponent places, and it goes back and forth for four gunmen. They are random choice, they have between one and three, one and four guns, and it's kind of balanced out by the fact that the fewer guns you have, the earlier you fire. So if on turn four you draw a single gun and your opponent draws a quadruple, well, you're gonna shoot first anyway, and it kind of all balances itself out in the end. You only get a few seconds to place your fighter, and it works out really, really well, because it becomes a little bit frantic. You have to place it quickly, but you gotta think about where your bullets are going, because at the end of the match, you wanna end up with more gold than your opponent has, whether that is by shooting enemies, by shooting the banks directly, or by taking your own people out in advance of the enemy shooting them, if you have an earlier firing sequence. There's a lot of thought that can go into it, and it's a really interesting concept. However, it's a little bit narrowly focused. I can see this being a fun party game, I can see this being a blast for a short period of time by yourself, but there's just not enough here to keep you fully involved for a long period of time. And I'll talk more about that a little bit when we get into the puzzle phase. But uh, overall, it's a neat concept and it's very, very polished. I played it, I didn't encounter a single bug, nothing wrong. Just a well-designed experience from start to finish. I am impressed with it from the point of view that a lot of stuff on Steam in this price category is so horrifically bug-ridden that it's difficult to play, to be quite honest. And this is not one of those titles. So you've got the versus AI, the multiplayer. Let's shift over to the puzzle aspect. There are 60 puzzles advertised by the game, and I played, I don't know, about 25 of them or so. I'm not entirely sure. Um, they as a whole are too easy. You can tell that the turn-based portion of the game came first because the maps that pop up for the puzzle series are of course pre-rendered because you have to solve them. Um, you have to think about which way your bullets are gonna meet up and it's kind of trial and error to a certain extent, but they're way, way too easy. I was halfway through the second chapter before I was encountering difficulty levels that I would typically find at the beginning of puzzle sections. So I kind of wish that this had actually been 30 more difficult puzzles as opposed to 60 that uh, the first third of them are just, well, I can do this first try usually and it's not really engaging. So. There are going to be some people that enjoy the puzzle aspect. I think that's kind of a personal opinion on my part, but it you, you can tell that the main focus of the game is the turn-based portion and not necessarily the puzzle part. There are some quirky aspects to it though because you do have some missions where you're claiming the gold, you have other missions where you have to save the chickens or scare the chickens depending on what the mission may be. A couple of funny little concepts here and there but overall I, I was more impressed with the multiplayer part of it than with the puzzle section. So I guess that kind of brings me to the end conclusion. 
my thoughts on this are whether or not you get this game depends on how you value your money. The cost is $10, which is less than a movie ticket in most places. And I think you can easily get a few hours of entertainment out of this. If you solve all of the puzzles, if that's your thing, then you're probably going to get two and a half or so hours out of it, which is a decent amount of time. And uh, it just depends on what kind of player you are, whether or not you enjoy the figure out the trajectory of the bullets, how to solve each of these different maps, it, whether or not that aspect of the game appeals to you. On the other hand, if you pick this up as a party game, something to play with friends, if you have a couple of people that pick it up with you, I think there are some good yucks to be had playing versus other people, or even to a certain degree versus AI. But again, it's a narrowly focused game. What is here is very well designed, but there's not a whole lot of variety in the content. I'd say the replayability isn't too terribly high. So at the end of the day, very well polished game, awesome atmosphere, nothing wrong with it. It just depends on how you like this style of game, the uh, turn-based trajectory wars, basically. <laughs> um, I'd say definitely pick it up if it's on sale. Maybe think about it a little harder if you want to pick it up at full price, but I don't really have a problem with picking up this game. I don't think that you will regret it. All right, guys, that's my opinion, and I am sticking to it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.